up everybody, Cole from Geek Life Gaming, and we're back with another Transformers deck profile. As you can see, we've got Springer and Jetfire. Um, I'm not sure what to call this deck yet. I've either been thinking of Springfire or Variable Armory, and I'm leaning more towards that second option. But let's get into the deck profile. So I decided to combo Jetfire with Springer because of Jetfire's bot mode ability. So this is going to be upgrades the deck. However, we'll go ahead and cover the characters first. Jetfire in his ult mode is 5, 15, and 1, and he has bold 1. He is 10 stars. And then in his bot mode, he is 4, 15, and 1. And his ability, when you flip to bot mode, put an armor or utility from your scrap pile onto this character. So he's not bad. He puts uh, armor or utility from scrap pile onto himself. And now let's discuss Springer. Now if you haven't seen, they have released that when you do use a triple changer, it must start on its alt 1 mode. And it's hard to see because of how small it is, but Springer's truck is his alt 1 mode and his helicopter is his alt 2 mode. So in his truck mode, he's got 4, 14, and 2, and while he has an armor equipped, he has tough 2. Then in his helicopter mode, he is 5, 14, and 1, and while he has a weapon equipped, he has bold 2. And then when he is in bot mode, he is 3, 14, and 1, and while he has a utility equipped, he has pierce 3. So is, there is a lot that can be done with both Springer and Jetfire. So now that, the, now that we've uh, got the characters out of the way, we'll go ahead and get into the battle deck. Um, right away, you will probably notice, because we're going to cover the actions first. As of right now, I am not running the action that switches upgrades uh, that are on that are on two characters and switch and swaps the upgrades between them. I am not running that right now. Uh, I need to test this deck, which I will be testing it either Wednesday or uh, either Wednesday or Thursday. And then if I determine that I need uh, that card at that point, I will then add it. But as of right now, we are running three confidence. It's an orange, which I like a lot. It allows me to draw two cards and scrap two cards from my hand. And then, if I begin the game with only Autobots, I may play another action. So there's not too many actions in the deck, but if I happen to have an action in hand when I play Confidence, I can use it. So that's why that is at 3. And this might be the card that comes out if I choose to go with the action that swaps all the upgrades on two characters. This might be the card that comes out. Next up, we have Repair Plan as a two of. It's another orange, which is nice because I'm trying to get a lot of damage because uh, my upgrades should do a perfect job of protecting both Springer and Jetfire, so I'm not focusing uh, on blue too much for the battle deck. Repair one damage from each of your character, or from one of your characters. If it's an Autobot, plan one. So now I can put orange back on the deck that I'm not going to be using right away. Next up, we have a three of of a new uncommon that I really like. Focus Fire for orange and green. So now I can add it to my hand by discarding cards after the attack has happened, and it's an orange. However, uh, for, focus, for each Focus Fire you've played this turn, one of your characters gets a bold one until the end of the turn. If you have all three of those in your hand, you're giving either Jetfire or Springer bold four. Jetfire, you're potentially, or I mean bold three. Jetfire, you're potentially getting bold four. And with Springer, you are potentially getting bold two if he's in his helicopter alt mode. So that is why that is at three. Last but not least, we have a one-of just because I'm testing it out. Uh, I understand testing a one-of is kind of eh, because you might never see it in your hand to actually use it. However, I wanted to test it, and if it gets into my hand and it actually works out, then I might run more of. Press the advantage. It's another orange and green. It's a new rare from Rise of the Combiners. 
Choose one of your Autobots, it gets plus two power until end of turn. Choose an enemy Decepticon, it gets minus two, power, uh, minus two defense until the end of turn. So, in theory, this is an incredible card. Obviously, as a one-of, I might not run into it a lot, but I'm testing it as a one-of because if it comes in handy, when I do get it as a one-of, and I'm realizing that I need more of it, it'll give me more of an excuse to put more in the deck. However, if the deck is doing just fine and it doesn't need Press the Advantage, this might come out or it might just stay as a one-of. So that is my reasoning for running Press the Advantage as a one-of for right now. And now we are on to the important half of the deck. Uh, the upgrades, uh, except three of them are actions, but some of you have probably guessed what action I'm using right now. So for we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve actions in the deck, and everything else is an upgrade. So for the first three actions of the important cards, it is tech research. We are running all of the superior upgrades in this deck. They are fantastic. With Jetfire's ability, you can bypass the requirement on superior plating and superior jetpack, which is very nice. Which also means if I choose to add in the action that swaps all up that swaps all the upgrades on two characters that I have, Springer can also bypass the need to for tech research for superior plating and superior jetpack. However, we need to run this as a three of so that way I can actually play the superior upgrades uh, legally. Or I shouldn't say legally, but so I can actually get them onto Springer easier. And so for the first lineup, we have Superior Cannon. It's an orange. You can play it only if you've played Tech Research, and it gives bold four. So in Springer's truck mode, he's getting, or my bad, his helicopter mode, he's getting bold six. And then if I've used, uh, if I've used the Focus Fire, all three of them in a single turn. He's at bold nine, which is just gross. Three of superior plating. It's got the same, uh, this is blue, must play tech research, and it offers tough four. So any of these pieces on Springer are just ramping up whatever abilities he has. And then if you have plating, jetpack, and cannon, he's getting all of their effects plus the bonus effect of whatever mode he is in. And three superior jetpack. White and it adds pierce four, which is very nice if I have that in any of the upgrades that increase power on Springer. Uh, the most important upgrade in the deck, without a doubt, the staple three of force field. Uh, I've said it once and I'll say it again. This should be a three of in almost any deck you build. You can get away with not running it in combiner decks because they're small anyway. And the force field just seems to me, depending on the deck and how you're building it, can seem like it's just eating up space in a combiner deck. However, in any other kind of deck, force field should be a three of. We have two Energon Axe. It's a very nice plus three and an additional Pierce two. It is a blue, so there is some blue in here, but I believe for the most part it is orange. I will get an accurate count once we're done going through the battle deck. Armed Hovercraft, since both characters are ranged, the ability on Armed Hovercraft is going to go off to ping every enemy for one. Also, it offers an additional power, so that's never a bad thing. A very nice utility that I did not see a lot of play in set one, but I am playing it specifically for Springer. Combat training. While the equipped, while the upgraded character has a weapon, it has bold one. While the upgraded character has an armor, it has tough one. So if you have this in Springer's utility slot, now he's got Pierce three, and then if he's got a weapon and an armor, he's gaining all the effects from that weapon and armor plus an additional bold and tough one. So that is why the combat training is at two. 
I decided not to run it at three because the likelihood of being able to keep upgrades on Springer or Jetfire is not likely. There are a lot of new cards that allow you to scrap upgrades, so that is why the combat training is only at two and not three. Erratic Lightning for the orange, the plus three power. Uh, yeah, the minus one defense does hurt, especially in Springer's bot mode. He's going down to zero, and I believe his his helicopter mode too, and then it's also hurting jet fire in both of his modes and bringing him down to zero. However, that plus three is nothing to sniff at. And that is why that is at three. We have Noble's Blaster because my friends like to play Decepticons, so that is why that is at three. Put on Autobots only. While the upgraded character is attacking a Decepticon, it has Pierce 2. So there's stacking more Pierce. If you've got a utility on Springer and you've got the Noble's Blaster on Springer, you're stacking some Pierce. It also affords plus two power, and once again, that is never a bad thing. And then to round out the battle deck, we have a three of a fun new weapon upgrade that will easily be going in Metroplex. Power Punch. Bold three, and then it has the same clause as Grenade Launcher. After the upgraded character attacks, you scrap this card. So that is... Uh, variable Armory. I have decided I am going with that name. And I'll get a quick count of the orange to blue ratio. And white for that matter. So we have three that are just green. Eighteen that are orange. So for the most part, it is close to a majority orange comparatively to the number of the rest. Eleven blue with three of those being green and there are also green that are on our oranges as well with the focus fire and the press the advantage and then we have eight white so we do have a we are leaning heavy on the uh, orange which is how i intended for the deck to be built anyway so that is okay so, uh, yes, I will be getting this deck, I will be playtesting this deck, uh, Wednesday or Thursday, and obviously we will be getting a recorded match with you guys, because, uh, one of my friends has opened Decepticon Venom and wants to test his new Decepti uh, Insecticon build, and so, once we get that going, we'll get it uploaded for you guys. Once again, that was Cole from Geek Life Gaming. And we'll see you next time.